what is up my fellow mobile gamers in today's video we are going to take a look at the best settings for a3 still alive and which pack you should buy if you happen to decide to spend a little bit of money in this game but before we get started as always i'm going to ask that you please hit the subscribe button to help support the channel these videos have gotten thousands and thousands of views and we only got like 200 subscribers so my goal is my birthday is coming right around the corner november 18th i am hoping that we could get a thousand subscribers by my birthday or on my birthday so please Hit the subscribe button if you're not already it's free it doesn't cost you anything you're watching my videos anyway might as well help support the channel all right so here we go we're in the game we are going to go to the three lines at the right click the little cog and we have our game settings uh sleep mode this is if you want to grind overnight so if you are not playing the game for five minutes it'll just automatically go into sleep mode if you want to just start sleep mode right away just go right here click sleep now and as you can see this it will cover the screen but your character will still be farming monsters and getting gear and all that other stuff so this is a good way to just leave it on all night I mean I wouldn't recommend it for your phone but if you're running an emulator on your computer this is a great way to do that. Um, next we have is the great alarm. Uh, if you're just you know doing something else while the game's playing itself you want to have an alarm go off if say oh my god we get like a really good gear we get heroic or ancient or legendary an alarm will go off letting you know hey come back to the screen because you just got some badass gear um you could do whatever you want I, I honestly you could just keep it at off or heroic I, it's just set to heroic right now but it doesn't really matter because you're eventually going to come back and look at the game anyway all right now these ones right here are super important screen refresh rate now this is going to depend on what platform you're playing on so if you are playing on uh, a mobile phone, regardless of what it is, I don't care if you're playing on the Galaxy S50 or the iPhone 38 that has 27 cameras on the back, I really don't recommend putting the screen refresh rate at highest. As you see, you'll get a warning that the device will heat up and it will drain your battery quickly. I really don't recommend this because this is going to drain the hell out of your battery. I mean, like, like crazy. I mean, you don't understand. And again, depending on your device, the cell phone is not built to have like super cooling. Unless you got some powerful, one of those like gaming mobile phones that has like special air filters and stuff on it, you don't want to overheat your phone. So I would just keep it at high for your phone. Now, if you're playing on a computer like I am right now, you're playing on Blue Stacks or Knox Player jack the hell out of that shit i mean just jack it up to the max screen refresh rate highest doesn't matter our computers have super cooling you know and it's constantly plugged into the wall doesn't matter resolution highest again jack everything up if you're playing on an emulator on your computer doesn't matter textures we want everything to look good high like i said it depends on what you're playing with but if you're playing on you know tablet or a phone i suggest you stay in the highs to the mids uh, environmental effects are high that's fine again i have no problem running this on the emulators uh if you're having trouble running it on your phone and i know a lot of people are like oh my god this game is so sluggish or i'm getting a lot of lag just lower these settings right here environmental effects just lower this one down and it will help out tremendously same thing with the shadows you won't even notice the shadows i mean look at the shadow you won't even notice the difference if you put it at low and you'll get such better performance from the game um, if we go down uh, a little bit lower those don't matter if we go over to your character here's some other uh, interesting things this is huge for when you're doing stuff like uh, guild uh, dungeon runs and you're just farming with a, a party or you're just in those big massive battles where there's just like 50 people on the screen at once or however many i highly suggest if you're on your phone to lower this if you're having really really bad lag i mean just put it to the lowest 10 
you don't really like it doesn't matter you don't need to see all your 5,000 teammates all you need to do is see the enemy that you're trying to attack the boss and that's it so i i mean you could do 10 or 20 i have it set to 20 right now because i don't i just don't want to have it at max i don't need to see 50 things all on the screen just cluttered and it's just a damn mess i i can't it kills my eyes so i keep it at 20 that's good character information we just keep that up that's good stuff uh the 3d uh 2d 3d again it's going to determine a little bit of performance it's not too big of an issue i just keep it at 2d uh, special status information i just keep everything checked super simple and easy now this is another one that's super important and highly affects the performance of the game so your skill effects and skill effects for other players i suggest you set it to at least minimal if you're having trouble or just have it at auto auto will determine if it can have it at the highest quality or oh you're you're having trouble running the game it'll do it at minimal i don't suggest that you turn the skills off for you i tried it with the skills off for just my character and it was terrible i i didn't even know what my guy was doing like it literally takes all the effects off of your character so whenever your character attacks or does anything it doesn't even look like he's doing anything i mean there were times when i was doing special uh, abilities and my character was just like running into the enemy just like running into him he there, like there was no special effects at all it looked so bad and i was just i was so confused i was like what is my guy doing am i is my effects even going off so i highly suggest you at least have it on minimal or simple you definitely want to see what your character is doing because it's just so much better uh skill effects for other players again if you, this one you can turn off because this is the other players again if you have 50 people on the screen and everybody's throwing their effects it's going to be laggy as hell you don't really it doesn't matter if you see what other people are doing it only matters what you're doing so you could have that set to minimal or even off again if you're having trouble you just these two are huge but try and keep yours at least on all right next up we're gonna look at the store all right you you decide hey i really like this game i want to spend some money in this game the number one thing I suggest you spend, if you can only make one purchase, my purchase would be the battle pass. It's only, what is it, $10, right? It's $10.99, $11. This is your purchase. If you can only make one purchase, the battle pass is amazing value. There's so much stuff down here, all the way at the bottom. You get all these rewards. Now, one thing that's super important and some people may not know is the battle pass is linked to battle royale so the only way to get battle pass points is by playing battle royale if you tried battle royale out and you absolutely hated it and you're like i'm never playing battle royale again i only like the mmorpg style of the game then the battle pass isn't for you i just want to warn you don't waste your money on the battle pass if you're not going to play the battle royale otherwise you're gonna not get points like that's the whole purpose but, you know, Netmarble is very smart and they, you know, they know what they're doing. They're not stupid. So the way they have it is the only way to get points in the battle pass is by playing the battle royale. And the battle pass only has rewards for the MMORPG. So everything kind of goes hand in hand, forcing you to play the battle royale if you want to get all these rewards. And of course, they put a lot of the best rewards down in the battle pass i mean this is great value for only 11 dollars. all right now we'll go over to the regular shop there is a bunch of different things i'm in the special category right now it says 18 days left until it refreshes uh, origin of beginning pack this is a great pack for starters and you just want to get some decent gear it's only nine dollars you'll get the gloves the helmets the top you'll get some enchantment stones this is really good for nine dollars uh, strong start pack this is a bit expensive 27 dollars for the, the amount of things you get it's a bit iffy but you do get 1100 diamonds that's what would be the big selling point um a lot of the other stuff is okay the active uh, and passive skill enchantment stones they're definitely going to come in handy though again it depends on your wallet i mean if if you got money then this would be de a decent pack but again if you're not looking to spend a lot this nine dollar one it'll get you um now this launching hero pack right here for 45 dollars it, it gives some good stuff right heroic soul star and experienced soul stars that's kind of expensive 45 dollars for one soul linker I, I don't know again if, if you got money to blow then go ahead but i don't really like i'm just like that's a that's a lot 
you know, that's too much for me. Um, the level up one, this this is just kind of rewards you for leveling up. As you can see right here, it says level 60, and it, it just says that, like, get 360 upon purchase, but then you'll receive more once you reach level 60. So that's one thing to keep in mind. Like, a lot of these, like this 100, uh, level 100 one, you have to reach level 100, and then it, you get 1,900 uh, diamonds. So that's one thing to keep in mind if you're not going to be playing the game long or you know i mean you don't then that's not for you uh, the starter level up package the, again this one's like receive upon reaching level 100. so like this is good but like rewards become available every 10 levels and the roar can be seen again this is only if you're going to be leveling up a lot you're really going to be into the game like uh, the the way net marble did it is like this level up area is it's really they make you really invest in the game like once you spend money in the game you're like okay you have to keep playing now in order to get more rewards that you paid for battle royale uh for the battle royale area you're gonna have your battle royale tokens you get these from you know playing the battle royale game mode some things that i highly suggest you do every day is the uh active skill enchantment stone chest Try and buy all 10 of these. You can only buy 10 a day. Try and buy all 10 every day because you are going to need them so bad to level up your character skills. This is super important. And the passive skill enchantment stones. You need thousands and thousands of these stones to level up your character's skills. I mean, you're going to need so many, so just buy the hell out of them every day. Try and get at least 10. Uh, the Soul Linker equipment chest. I've been getting Soul Linker uh, equipment chest just from playing the game i haven't really felt the need to get more of these like to get any of these because i'm already getting a lot from the game but these the the skills you need thousands i mean you will never get enough from the game you're gonna have to keep getting that more and more and more all right and then down to the common we have our character bag slot soul linker bag soul linker slot this is gonna depend on your play style if you are going to spend a lot of money on these other packs and you just happen to reach uh, level 7 right here where you unlock, this is the A3 members, this is the VIP part of the game. Um, this is free though too. You can level this up just from doing the uh, the special rewards quests and things. As you can see, I reached level 2 already haven't spent a dime in the game and we reached level two so i have this auto uh unlock auto purchase hp potions so you it is possible it's definitely possible that you can get these vip levels for free without spending any money of course if you do spend money you're gonna instantly get there so much faster but if you get to the seven one unlock auto salvage and sale function this is huge for when you're grinding overnight you're going to sleep, you're going to work, and you leave your game playing itself. This is so important. You are not going to need, you know, more slots. You're not going to need your bag to carry more items if you have that feature because the feature is going to, you're going to have it set so that as soon as your character farms up a certain amount of equipment, it will just be sold. So you'll never run out, you know what I mean? You'll never have too many items because they'll always be selling. Now, if you don't have that feature still grinding out, you might want to do that uh, bag slot and have that extra space because if you do leave it overnight or you leave it for several hours, you'll find out very quick that your bag will get filled super fast. I mean, I did it just for an hour and I came back and my bag was completely full of gear and I had to come and I had to sell it. You know, and that's a lot of gear and stuff that you could be missing out on to either salvage it or sell it, you know. So that's mana stones you're missing out on or gold that you're missing out on. But again, it depends on your play style. I'm just trying to give suggestions and ideas for you guys and girls. But I hope you all enjoyed this video. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And I have a bonus for you right now. If you are still here and you stayed till the end. My pre-order email had three pre-register codes i entered all three but only that I, I i should say it like this i entered the first one and i got my uh rewards i tried to enter the other two and it said that i had already redeemed them or they had expired now the thing is you can only have one code or per account so i'm not sure why they sent me three of this like three codes three different codes but i can't enter the other ones so what i'm going to do is 
I am going to give away the other two codes for free. Now, I do not know 100% if these will work because I tried to use them on my account after I already uh, used a pre-registration code and it said I couldn't. So, if you already used a pre-registration code, then I highly suggest you do not enter this little giveaway. But if you have not entered your code or you're like, oh my God, I never got the email, then here you go. Here's a free chance that you may get a pre-registration code for free. You know, I mean, I'm just trying to help out. I don't want these two codes to just go to waste and just sit there. Again, I don't know if they work. I think they do. I haven't really got, you know, there's no way to test it out. This is kind of the test out. So I'm just going to give two of these two codes away to two random people. Comment down below your Discord name. I will pick two people and I will contact you on Discord and I will send you a picture of the code. So there's two, two separate codes, two separate winners. Again, only enter if you haven't used a pre-registration code because I believe it will not work if you've already used one of the other code. If you already used a code. Just wanted you guys to know. So I love y'all. Stay happy. Stay safe. Peace.